Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today I'm just going to show you guys the features on the new Face Chart Pro for iPhone. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Corin, and you're watching Encore Makeup. Blend, blend, blend. Hi Corin, stop using my lipstick. Hey everyone, welcome back. So FaceChart Pro is now available for iPhone and I'm going to put the uh, direct link to the uh, App Store link to the uh, app itself on the more info section. But as you can see, the toolbars are now on the left and the right to make sure to fit the uh, canvas right on an iPhone screen. Now as you can see, there's a full face in it. I originally just wanted to do the eyes, the eye canvases on the iPhone version. But as many of you guys requested uh, to do a full face, I added that as well. So if you click on the new button right here, the page is going to flip and you can see the same exact canvases that are available for the iPad version. Alright, so uh, again the tools are on this side so you can select your uh, special effects tools, your brushes, and then of course all the colors are also available Okay, right here. Okay, you can select that for the face, for the eyes, and then you have your lipsticks, and then you also have your uh, eyelashes in there. And then the custom color, just press that, and you're going to be able to customize a color. And then you'll find the save folder and also the archive folder right here on this bar. Okay, so now let's do a quick demo on how you can create a face chart using Face Chart Pro for iPhone. Hey everyone, welcome back. So for our Face Chart Pro for iPhone, Version. We're going to start off with a canvas. I'm going to tap on the end button and it's going to reveal all the available canvases. As you can see, I added the full faces in here per your request. I originally only have the eyes for the iPhone version, but I added the two faces. And I'm going to select a full face. All right, and as you can see, it fills in the whole screen. Now, if you need to zoom in to work on the detail, all you need to do is pinch out and that's going to zoom in. And then you're ready to do your um, eye design. Now I highly recommend tapping on the mirror option right here. Okay, and that's going to generate the other eye okay, automatically for you. So you don't need to do that. You only need to work on one eye. So right here on our toolbar, we're going to select a tool. And for the eyes, we're going to select the eyeshadow brush. We're also going to select a color. Let's do a burgundy color. All right, and then you're just basically going to tap, color, however swiping motion you want. Okay, we're just going to add that color right there. Switch color, let's do a gold right into the inner part, just like so. All right, and then we're going to switch to our eyeliner brush. And we're going to select a black color. We're going to add a nice smoky-ish liner. There you go. I'm going to change color. I'm going to add a blue liner on the bottom liner. Just like that. And let's add some special effects. So let's do cheetah print. All right, we're just going to add the cheetah print. Now, if you find that the print is too big or too um, small, don't worry. You can adjust that right in the adjuster control. Okay, just like this. Now, that's too big, of course. Just back button. We're going to adjust it smaller. There we go. That looks good. All right. Next, we're going to add some lashes. So for the top lashes, I'm going to select that one. And we're also going to add bottom lashes, just like so. Now to go back to full screen, all you need to do is press and hold, and it's going to show you full screen. And so you can see the other eyes automatically generated for you. Now you can finish off the look by adding skin finishing, blush, lips, the choice is yours and the tools are right here okay you can select the type of brushes you're going to need to complete the project and then the colors are here and again it's um, eye palette face palette right here then you got your lipsticks for the lip colors you can also customize 
right here by just selecting the color you know doing tint or shade and click on choose and that's going to be the color that's going to be displayed here on the uh, little indicator and that's going to be the color that's going to be applied and then of course your lash selection right here okay when you're done with your project make sure to save it which is this uh, folder right here the one that's that looks like a blank folder and then if you need to access that later on just click on the folder above that that has the face chart or kind of like a little icon right there and you're going to be able to fish that project from your archive folder and that's really it it's really easy breezy and practice makes perfect the more you do it the more you get used to it and thank you so much for those who turned in their work they're beautiful and I know many of you guys have improved since you first used the face chart pro for iPad or iPhone and uh, then you know you turned in more recent work and much improvement because you've been practicing so thank you so much for joining me and definitely look into getting your uh, app today face chart pro and of course for more information on the app you can visit the website at facechartpro.com and i'm going to uh, also give you guys the direct link to the app store for both the uh, ipad version and the iphone version thank you so much for joining me today and until next time i'll see you guys soon